All right guys, so Apple seems to have killed off the 27 inch iMac, which I really wanted myself. I was waiting for it all this time. I thought I was gonna have the M1 Pro chip, M1 Max chip, something of that sort or something better. But as soon as the Mac Studio came out, iMac was gone, like it was just gone. The replacement for the iMac seems to be this right here, the Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip and also the M1 Ultra chip. And it is expensive. The Mac Studio is expensive, but the value that you're getting is insane. You're getting the M1 Max chip for like under 2,500 bucks with good GPU and everything like that. So the way that I see this is basically, I see it as long-term value. As in like, this is gonna last you at least three, four years or even more on it, honestly more. Cause so much power within this thing is gonna last you a long time. So if you were to get the same configurations on the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip, you would pay thousand plus more extra for the same thing pretty much. And I get it, the MacBook Pro is mobile. You can take it anywhere you want. But what I notice, even for myself as well, I currently have a MacBook Pro. Um, a lot of people tend to just plug it in on their you know, monitor and just use it. They use a keyboard and a mouse and that's it. A lot of people do that, honestly. The way that I would configure the Mac Studio is like this. I feel like it's a great value. For the, for the amount of performance that you're getting is insane. M1 Max chip. And I don't think you need the Ultra to be honest. The M1 Max is already overkill. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you guys what to get. So my workflow is basically, I do a lot of video work, obviously. I use Final Cut Pro. I use a lot of Photoshop, a lot of um, Lightroom, and a bunch of other miscellaneous softwares. And just, I require speed. I require like efficiency when I work. Cause every second matters, honestly, adds up at the end of the day, end of the year, you're wasting a lot of time. So guys, I'm speaking from like a YouTuber perspective, like a creator's perspective. I run five channels myself. I have side businesses that I do as well. Um, I feel like it'd be a perfect add-on for me. And I already have a pretty decent computer, but it does slow down at times, which I'm trying to upgrade. I wanted the iMac, but Apple said Thanos. I was gone. This, I feel like this would be the best deal I could get besides getting the MacBook Pro, which is a little bit more expensive. And, and I already have a monitor, I already have a keyboard and a mouse. So for me, the Mac Studio is literally perfect. So a lot of YouTubers should be fine with the base for like $2,000 plus tax. They should be fine with it, the Mac Studio, the M1 Max ship. So this is the M1 Max with 10 core CPU, 24 core GPU and 16 core neural engine. You should be fine with it. And what I would get with this one is keep it, keep the memory, keep the RAM as the same thing, 30 gigabytes. I'll tell you why. Um, what I would do on top of this is get a one terabyte storage. Especially the video work takes a lot of space. So I would get the one terabyte storage. If you want to get more, you can, which is more is the better. So get the one terabyte storage. Um, and then it turns out to be 2199. So 2200 bucks, which should last you years and years. Honestly, this is perfect for a lot of people, like 90% of the people as perfect. So if you want something a bit extra, once again, we're going to click on the base model. And this is the version I'm going to get personally. So yeah, you have it right here. I'm going to get the Apple M1 Max with 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU. So all I'm changing is the GPU. So I'm getting 32 instead of the 24. So 30 core GPU, I'm gonna keep the memory as the same. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm gonna keep that as the same. Uh, at first I was gonna get the 64 gigabytes, but I ran a lot of tests. I did, I asked a lot of people this and that. Everyone says the 32 and 64 are pretty much the same thing. You see no difference between them. And I seen a lot of videos on YouTube as well, people saying the same thing, so it just makes sense. So I'm personally gonna go with 32. For my workflow is perfect and if you want something extra you can get the 64 but i don't think you should do it extra 400 bucks and you're gonna get the same power pretty much to have the peace of mind if you want to get it you can get the 64 personally i wouldn't get it so that's my workflow and then for the storage i would get one terabyte i would genuinely get one terabyte because storage is a big thing if you do projects you need storage photoshop work you need storage i hate the fact that i sometimes have to delete like footage delete files because i'm running out of storage so I'll get the one terabyte and that's it. This turns out to be $2,400 plus tax, which is going to be like, what, $2,500, $2,600. And that's it. For this, you get a powerful computer that's going to last you years and years. For the amount of $2,500, $2,600, $2, you're getting M1 Max ship. And if you were to get the same configurations on a MacBook Pro, this is how much it would be. If I'm going to save the same configuration on the MacBook Pro, 30 gigabyte RAM and one terabyte storage. You're going to pay $3,499, so $3,500 plus tax. This is going to be, what, like $3,700, $3,800 around that. That's an insane amount of money. And I feel like it's a better deal if you want to, if you don't want to be mobile, 
get the Mac Studio. Right now, it's literally the best deal that you could get from Apple. Insane deal. It's a lot of money, but in the long term, it makes sense because you're getting so much speed and performance efficiency to your workflow. I feel like this is a huge plus. Anyways, guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And guys, I'll have more content for you guys soon. I'm just getting rolling again on this channel. And see you guys soon. If you guys enjoyed the content, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Have a blessed day.